Hey everyone, what's up Wednesday? I hope you guys are having a great, great day. I thought I would share with you some of the things that have been going on here in the wonderful world of chilly Kansas City. It's been pretty frigid. First of all, both reruns on Shooting USA and Impossible Shots, but you'll see me twice. I'm hosting another episode of Impossible Shots, and then I'm also teaching a class, an IDPA class to women on Shooting USA. So if you've missed either one of those, you should check those out. But what else is going on? I wanted to show you some boxes that I just got from Smith & Wesson and Safari Land this week. And the first one is probably not that fun and awesome. This one is a box of M&P mags. And you're thinking, why M&P mags? Well, I have six of these suckers because I am getting ready to go to the Smith & Wesson IDPA Indoor Nationals next week. And these are M&P 10 round mags and I needed some new ones because when you travel to certain states, you have to deal with what they deem as capacity laws and you have to make sure that you are in compliance, otherwise you can run into trouble with local law enforcement. So these are my Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm 10 rounders that I am taking to the IDPA Indoor Nationals next week. Now for the fun part. So this is exciting. This is a brand new box. I have only just um, opened it. So this is exciting for me. We'll see what's in here. This is from Safari Land, one of my sponsors. This is a receipt of some sort. Ooh, all right. Okay, so looks like some concealed carry holsters here. This is a Bianchi Remedy. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, this is a belt slide holster that fits a Smith & Wesson M&P shield, and it's in size 15. It's plain black, and it's right-handed belt. It looks, it is genuine leather, 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 leather. And I do love a leather holster for concealed carry because it's classic, and they're comfortable, and... Uh, Definitely gonna try this one out. Let's see. It looks really awesome here. Pretty stiff, but still flexible. And like I said, it just sits right on the belt. Looks like it's gonna have a little bit of a, a cant action, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try that one out. Oh, another Bianchi. This one's a clip-on, again, for the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. It looks like, looks like this is a concealed carry box. Um, this one is the is a size 13 model 100 professional holster, and it is also a clip-on for the M&P Shield. It's uh, in the waistband. I have one of these already, but it's always good to have two because <laughs> I do misplace things. But this one's been my go-to for a lot of different outfits because I really like how easy it is to slip on. It's super, super slim. And for someone my size, concealed carry is tough. So uh, I like the clip-on add to this thing. So this is my go-to concealed carry holster right now. But I have a feeling that may change after seeing what's in this box. This is a wallet profile holster for a 380 bodyguard. So I use two different types of concealed carry firearms depending on what my outfit is. Most of the time I prefer the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield in 9mm because it's, it's, it's just like a full size, gun, full size gun and I use M&P so often it's very familiar to me. Um, but the bodyguard is really, really nice because of the fact that it's so, so small, so much smaller. And for someone my size, it's really, it's a whole lot easier to conceal. This is pretty cool. This is a pocket holster. Uh, guys, these are a really good option for you. But for women, this I have struggled to find other than some significant old school cargo pants. This type of holster is pretty hard for me to use because, I mean... This is my head. I don't have pockets that big. <laughs> so it becomes fairly obvious when I'm carrying something really big in my pockets, but I'm definitely gonna give it a try. And uh, it's definitely, if you're going to carry in a pocket, you want to get a holster for it. You do, do not want to place a firearm in your pocket without some sort of holster because that could be a dangerous situation. Not good. Another inside the pocket holster. This one looks a little bit better because it doesn't have that big leather stiff kind of thing. This I can, this one I'm liking already so much better. This is the model 
Ah, uh, let's see, model 25. And uh, this is really, really nice. And this is really ideal for either pocket carry or ladies, you can use this in a purse if you don't have a designated concealed carry purse. Um, the only disadvantage is it's gonna move around. So you wanna make sure you put it in a compartment that's designated and fits your firearm well that you have easy access to, something to keep in mind. But definitely like this. This is an inside the waistband holster. This is a one, another one for the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. This is like Christmas. Guys. So a 27-179-61. That's probably a lot for you to remember, but uh, I'm probably gonna do probably going to do a video on these to kind of compare and see. Um, but, but this is basically an inside the waistband safari lint holster that is leather and it looks super comfortable. I'm really liking this as well. It looks like you can twist things around a little bit to adjust. So I'm going to definitely try this one out. This one, I like this one a lot. Hmm. Uh, finally. Oh, this one is very cool. So I played with this a little bit at the SHOT Show, super impressed with this. This is the brand new GLS inside the waistband holster, and I love this. This is, oh, this is not an inside the waistband. This is an outside the waistband. I mean an inside the waistband one. Um, but anyway, this has the GLS locking system, which is really cool. All of these leather holsters are great, except there's no locking device. So if you really want to make sure your firearm stays secure on you, if you're wearing a belt and you want to make sure that it stays, something like this GLS system is very, very smart. So basically, your firearm goes in there, and until you depress this little leather that becomes a natural kind of thing when you're going through a draw stroke, you can't get the gun out. It's a really nice feature, just an added level of security. This is a standard holster that goes on your strong side, it looks like, um, but at the SHOT Show, I also played with the inside the waistband version of this, and I love it. I'm generally a fan of leather for concealed carry, but what I love about this particular GLS system is the fact that it can fit so many different guns. There's a little screw here that you have a huge variety of different firearms that it will fit. And then you can also set it up exactly the way you want it. Unlike this inside the waistband system right here, it actually has a system that allows you to lock your belt in place. So your, your gun is never gonna move up and down based on your belt size, which is really important for us ladies because we tend not to wear as thick a belt. <laughs> and maybe as a guy, you don't want to wear a really thick belt either, but a sturdy belt is very important when you're carrying concealed on the belt. But anyway, huge fan of the GLS. I am definitely going to put these to the test. So yeah, magazines and lots of holsters um, and uh, Shooting USA and Impossible Shots and what else is up for this Wednesday? Oh. If you missed last week's What's Up Wednesday, I talked about the NSSF Fantasy Camp, Shooting Sports Fantasy Camp, and we are over 20 people already signed up. Yay! So I'm very, very excited. If you are even remotely thinking about wanting to sign up for the NSSF Fantasy Camp, you might want to do it sooner than later <laughs> because it is definitely filling up and it is going to be a fun time. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to sign off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and um, stay tuned for my Facebook and uh, YouTube stuff. I think I'm going to do another giveaway soon. Uh, until next Wednesday, you guys be safe and have fun. See you later.